Hey Rage Nation, it's Kimber Schaefer here with all things Roll in the Cage and Rage in the Cage. The Summer Showdown Weekend, first ever for Rage in the Cage, going down August 6th, Roll in the Cage, and then followed by Rage in the Cage on August 7th. And this guy right here, oh, uh, this is Ohani McClinton, and you are starting the night off, kicking mm. it off with a bang for Rage in the Cage. Yeah. Um, first fight of the night, which I tell you, it always impresses me, you know, how you fighters that are debut fighters, you bring it. And that first fight just, I mean, there's there's been times where that first fight has been fight of the night. So yeah. no pressure. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> I don't take it. But, and you are no stranger though. You've mm -hmm. been training mixed martial arts for about 10 years, since yeah. 2011, you, you said. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about, you, you've even traveled. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your accomplishments along the way. Yeah, so uh, I've been training in, so I got a black belt in Taekwondo but I really went to Point Karate, and I've went to Missouri Nationals, Kansas Nationals, some Texas tournaments, so I've been in definitely around the Southwest, um, trained with some really good opponents. Um, I was always, like at my, when I was younger, I would see like Bailey Murphy compete online, and like Raymond Daniels was a big influence, so those were people I always try to make my, mimic my game off of, and then um, that's really what I've been doing ever since, and then I did a couple grappling tournaments when I was younger, um, and I always kind of stuck with like a couple things throughout our school, but really um, point karate and taekwondo were my niche. Did a lot of um, other kids in your school, because you grew up here and went to Edmond schools, mm -hmm. did they also participate in mm -hmm. martial arts or were yeah, you Yeah, no, like I was like the lone soldier. Yeah, yeah. like everybody was off doing um, like football and other stuff. And I was always involved, like I was doing track, um, I wrestled, and, um, I like my senior year and my junior year, I was in track as well. So, I mean, I was always been active, so it's just, I just had to do everything, but really Taekwondo was really like my niche right there. Well, that's awesome because mm -hmm. I know that, you know, I've got kids in school right now and it's uh, sometimes it's hard to be in the sports that are outside of the school. Mm -hmm. So like my kids are like really um, into basketball. We yeah. do basketball pretty much year round mm -hmm. in our house, but, um, but it's so fun to see how others have branched out and mm -hmm. really, um, I mean, made a name for yourself mm -hmm. in the martial arts. So yes, congratulations yeah. for you, it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. But Rage in the Cage, this is a cage. Is this will be the first time you've ever fought in a cage? Yes, it will, okay. in my uh, debut MMA fight. So. Okay, well, and I knew it was your debut MMA. Mm -hmm. I just did not ask you if you had ever did kickboxing or mm -hmm. you know, like roll in the cage as a jiu-jitsu tournament mm -hmm. that obviously happens in the cage. So mm -hmm. this is your first time actually ever to fight in a cage. So yes, yeah. very, very cool. You know, and I know the hardest thing for some is, um, is that adrenaline dump when you first walk in that cage. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some fighters kind of describe it to me. It's like you hear every sound. Mm -hmm. You know, like the clanking of the cage, mm. you know, you hear like the the timekeeper, you know, preparing wrestling papers and mm. and stuff like that. So I'm sure you've been in this game for yeah. 10 years. Yeah. You've probably got a lot of that rust off yeah. of you already. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I'm a performer. I like to put on a performance. Um, OKC Farmers Market, I've been, nothing new to me. I performed there for Shoreline Mafia uh, with my music group. Um, Lil Debbie, um, and so it's performing, if it's entertainment, fighting, whatever, I'm always in the spotlight, so adrenaline dub is something I'm not gonna worry about. Well, that's really good to hear. You know, it's funny, somebody like me that's worked and, you know, and, and, and spoken in, in front of large crowds before, mm -hmm. it never gets to me either being in mm -hmm. front of a big crowd, but some people it really, gets you know, them. yeah, it yeah. really gets them, and um, honestly, unless I'm singing, which is something I don't do every day. Mm -hmm. I really, and even then, I really don't even get that nervous. Mm -hmm. So, but but it is weird how some people we're just all made so differently, and our yeah. talents are just so different. But some for some fighters, it takes a couple of times being in front of that many people, and yeah. then they kind of are able to calm down their nerves. I've so. seen like throughout my like my tenure to finding it's just like there's killers in the gym, and then they go in and compete, and there's just like not even there. Like, yeah. So I'm just like it's really just how you hone it in, maybe just good breathing techniques, mentally prepare for it. And this, all you can do is compete. I mean, if you train in the training room consistently, if you know you put in those hours when you, before you get in those rings, so that's all that matters. Well, and this is like a, probably the worst analogy and people are gonna like, this is probably gonna like make people laugh at me, mm -hmm. but I, I've had four babies and mm -hmm. I've had them all natural mm -hmm. without like any sort of epidurals or you know, any kind of like, I mean, I've had them at the hospital with midwives. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I mean, you have to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. Like my first child, I was in labor for 22 hours. Yeah. So when you mention breathing, <laughs> you really do have to learn how to just like, you know, think through what your body's doing and allow mm. your body to just do what it needs to do. And mm. my, my, um, by the time I got to my second child, mm. I arrived at the hospital and, and, you know, baby was coming mm. and the nurses were like not trying to put me in the room and she was coming faster than we thought. Mm. I know this is TMI people. I'm sorry, Rage Nation. But I literally was chanting at the nurse as she's asking me, ma'am, what's your name? Instead of saying Kimber Schaefer, I was like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I'm like literally chanting because she's like disrupting my, you know, my, my, my mm -hmm. focus, you know, I'm trying to like bring a baby into this world. And this mm -hmm. woman wants to know my name and mm -hmm. my insurance. I'm like, dude. And, and then of course the nurse checked and the baby was coming and mm -hmm. I got to leave that person. But I mean, all I'm saying is that I get it. Focus in what you're doing. I mean, it takes like a little bit of practice to really mm -hmm. get there and be able to like tune out everything else that's happening in the world yeah. and let your craft just, you know, show on that stage. Mm -hmm. And so once you get to that point and you're able to tune that out, then it's just a whole nother game. Another ball game. Yeah. yeah. And I see a lot of fighters do this and some can do it after a few fights. Mm -hmm. They're literally looking in the camera as you know, and they're mm -hmm. like playing with their craft, you yeah. know, and some fighters can do that. Others have made the mistake of trying mm -hmm. to show off too soon. Mm -hmm. And that's when, you know, they get trapped or something. Yeah. So it's definitely a balancing game as far as that goes. For so sure. just pacing yourself, honestly, um, if you work the basics, the fundamentals and this, if you're honing in on your craft, consistently you should be good in the cage and I know everybody handles pressure in a different way but it's still a fight regardless so you just got to make sure you're doing the right things to be prepared for it all right and you mm -hmm. are preparing you're mm -hmm. preparing by your training at American Elite yes ma'am and then you told me you've been there since about 2019 yeah so I went there for the first time in 2019 but full-time I started going there about February of 2021 so yeah okay mm -hmm. and you've got a lot of great coaches that have came over um, you know I mean Matt Grice is there now. Yeah, You've great. got J.R. Coffrin, these mm -hmm. people that, you know, I knew from way back in the day at R1. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, some of my very first pre-fight interviews eight years ago was there yeah, at, with um, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. all those guys and um, they're at R1 when they were in Midwest City. So, mm -hmm. you know, all of them have made the move to the Edmond area. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited to see, you know, your training and yeah. how it plays out in the cage and mm -hmm. the fact that you're the first fight of the night. And now that I know mm -hmm. more about you and just how much experience you have, it, mm -hmm. it just makes it all that more exciting. Yeah. So any last words, any shout outs before we wrap it up today? Yeah, I got I a couple of shout outs. <laughs> Heck yeah. So uh, shout out to American Elite, Matt Grice, TJ Tomlin, um, JR, Chibi, all the guys that's been supporting me. Uh, my OG, Jim, Wild Bun Martial Arts, shout out to Mr. Watley. Shout out Nav Visuals. He's been helping me with things behind the scenes. Um, Averagely misunderstood. And también a todo el mundo, mi, mi familia de Panamá, ya tú sabes. Lo voy a sacar la chucha, tú, tú. No puedo decirlo aquí, pero ya tú sabes. Vamos con todo. Well, whatever he said, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. So thank you guys, Rage Nation, for always supporting Rage in the Cage as well as all these fighters and this two-day event. We hope to be able to bring more of this. It is the summer showdown. Sorry for the fly having to swat that. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a battle right now. It's me versus the fly. <laughs> summer showdown coming your way August 6th for Roll in the Cage. And then the very next night, Rage in the Cage, August 7th, a huge weekend for Rage Nation. Um, you can get tickets to one event, both events, or a combo ticket, which I believe is discounted if you get it that way. And you can get them at stubwire.com online. Of course, hit up one of the fighters, and we'll see you guys there August 6th and 7th. We'll rage it up.